hi guys welcome back so today we are going to see how we can scan the controls in a web page okay let's quickly start I have opened a web one web page demo web shop dot tricent, com okay so in this page you can see many controls different controls like link web edit box buttons okay image okay so today what we will see like how we can identify these controls and how we can store these controls in our repository so that going forward we can use this control okay without storing this object properties or objects in your repository you cannot work with these controls okay to store these controls tosca we have one method called access scan okay so if you go to the module section and if you right click on the folder you will see one option called scan under scan we have different scanning methods like api scan mobile scan pdf scan remote terminal scan if you go to the more we have file scan also web driver and self source scan but for now we are going to work with web application so we will select application it will show the list of applications open in the okay currently open in my system whatever window it is open it will show okay if you right click on the window it will give this is scanning methods okay which type of scan we want like html scan vision ai ui window x so by default if you are working with web application by default html will be selected okay just click on scan once a scan window is open you will see the list of controls available here so whatever controls it is showing which is part of this web page okay now i don't need all these controls okay so whatever controls we need that we are we will scan okay and we'll see different as identify identify identification methods okay if you see here one option called identify by so using this four different methods we can identify the controls uniquely okay so let me just click on this select on screen this button is used to select the required controls because here it is showing all the controls either you can select from here or else you can just click on select on screen and just move your cursor to the application okay suppose i want login link okay i will click on login you just see the login control has been added to my scanning window okay and you will notice one thing here the selected item is unique that means the whatever controls we have selected it is unique so we can utilize this control so to make this controls unique tosca by default will use some technical properties called tag and inner text okay let me select one more control like email email is a web edit box so just see it has used tag as input since it is a input box and id as email okay let me select one more password and one more control button okay for button you will see value it has used login and tag as input so this all four controls are unique so i can save it and i can use it okay this is called identify by properties okay so let me unselect this and if you click on this you will see four different identification method okay first one is properties which is by default tosca will use technical properties okay which is already selected the second one is anchor okay what anchor will do suppose the first property is not enough to identify the control okay uniquely then in that case we can use anchor 
okay how we can use anchor to see if I select unselect ID okay you see the email control is saying one item is not unique the selected item is not unique because the technical properties which we have selected is not sufficient to make it unique so to make it unique what we will do we will go for anchor just see as soon as I clicked on anchor by default Tosca will see the controls in the web page and it will assign one anchor tag if I move this search filter to one right you will see all the controls okay just see just above this input box we have one label called email which is anchor for this control okay so Tosca has selected Tosca has selected email as an anchor for this input box or web address box if in case okay Tosca is not selecting by default if you want to add in that case suppose email it has added by default okay I want to make it unique by taking a reference of this password okay I will drag and drop it you just see by using password this label I am identifying this email input box okay this is showing in green color just see the target control was successfully identified and the below message also you will see the selected item is unique so this is how we have to use anchor tag okay if you go for anchor by default Tosca will try and it will add the anchor for you it will make the item unique or control unique okay and suppose if in case anchor also not working okay if in case I will remove from here okay for password or suppose for password anchor is also not working the next one is image but image we should not use because this will take suppose tomorrow your control resolution is changing okay so that in that case this will get failed okay so try to avoid image and as well as index also index you can use if the control very less control if you have suppose if I click on index it is showing four or five so it is saying we have five controls with the same properties so fourth one is your password if I click on that index it it will identify okay suppose if it is having hundred in that case you should not use index now it is having only five then you can use but mostly you try to use properties and anchor it will work for you okay so this is how we have to make the controls unique by using four not four I will say the three identification method and actually it's we can say only two because index or an image both are not preferable okay in rare cases if this uh, other tools are two options are not working in that case you can go for index but image you try to ignore okay so till now uh, whatever applications I have worked with this property in anchor these two identification methods are sufficient to identify the objects uniquely okay so you can also practice using the same website or else you can use a different website just try to scan the controls and play with this technical properties try to unselect the properties okay and try to make it unique by selecting different properties if properties are not working try to uh, make it unique using anchor then you will get the hands-on experience